Hi and welcome to Conversations with Kelvin. Um, today I'd just like to give you my views on um, diplomas. Um, just the importance or the non-importance of diplomas. Um, yeah, so let's begin the discussion. Um, also remember to uh, to drop me an email at info at calvinbusiness.co.za um, if you comment and like it means doesn't mean really much because I'd like you to email me and we can have an in-depth discussion um, so please do respond but um, not through comments and likes uh, as, as I like to chat more in-depth to me it's really important to get to grips with um, with this problem Okay, so here's just my in, my views or my take on diplomas today. So, what I would like to say is that, um, let's say a young person has now just finished matric and now they're busy studying at a college. Okay, so I'm not now talking about studying for a degree, I'm just talking about studying for a diploma course, which is usually about three weeks. Uh, three three months um, now obviously a diploma is important uh, because when you go for a job interview they are not going to even allow you in that job interview when they're looking at CVs and there's no diploma so it's almost like your diploma is just gi giving you that foot in the door uh, at a company now you know a lot of people or a lot of parents um, put such a lot of emphasis on spending three years at a college paying such a lot of money just to get this diploma as if the diploma is a guarantee of a job now what I would like to say is that today a diploma is not a guarantee of a job even people with degrees are finding it difficult to get a job and the main reason is that there is so much unemployment in South Africa, it's, it's currently at around 27% that, um, and I mean if you take 27% and you compare it to overseas like, like Europe or even America where it's at something like 3%, it, it, it's really a crisis. Uh, unemployment in South Africa is a really a crisis. So parents spend a lot of money making sure that their children gets a diploma and then 27% uh, unemployment. So it's almost like there is too many graduates chasing off after too few jobs, available jobs. So we need to have job creation but just on the, the, the still on the question of diploma, so knowing that a diploma is not a guarantee of a job but mostly a foot in the door I also want to mention that um, that the students spend three years getting their diploma and one and it specifies on the diploma or when they get their diploma in the letter and everything exactly what they've studied what courses they've studied what has been learned right but when they enter the job market, it's almost like they're not really that good. You know, they get employed and, and, I, and I, being a businessman, I've heard business uh, companies of small business, medium business say to me, you know, once we employ the person, we've still got to give them a three month period because we've almost got to retrain them in, in a way um to 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 our way of doing it and also some of the content that they study is irrelevant or out of date and um and a lot of the companies really say to you that it's only after let's say three months they say or six months then the students start benefiting the company and and then uh it's it, but initially the student is more of a cost to the company than a benefit. So what I would like to say is that um, that a diploma 
um, is although it is a foot in the door, it's not a guarantee for a job. And uh, what I really see as um, as a f uh, as really getting that young person a job is is to do an internship at a company and then have that company's manager or owner write a letter of recommendation you know if you do a three-year course a three-year diploma course it's usually in the third year that students go for uh, internships but i would say that the sooner they go for internships the better I would even say that in their second year they should be going uh, to an internship to start doing internships even if it's just three days a week now what mostly happens is let's say the the, the this young student is doing a three-year diploma course and then it's usually in the last year the last six months or eight yeah around about six months they almost allow the students to be at the internships full time because that is what uh, uh, companies also want they, they they want the internships but when they want uh, the student full-time let's say for example uh, five days a week from nine to five in a way uh, the student is working and the company is testing that student to see you know if that student should then stay on the following year and be employed so whereas in the past um, companies usually give a three-month contract because they they don't know if that person is suitable for permanent employment so they give them a three-month contract and 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 now a paid internship is almost like instead of giving the the, the, the student a, a three-month contract or the young person a three-month con contract that three-month internship is a way that they can decide if the student is uh, reliable or good or or up to standard or if that's the, that's the person they want to employ permanently or want to invest in and keep so um, my view is that three year courses are too long three year diploma courses are too long my my view is that you can teach any young person the content that they need to learn within six months and the reason why I'm saying that is because whatever you are studying for as a, if it's a dip diploma course then it means you're not going to become a doctor or a lawyer or engineer it just means you're going to become let's say a technician or a, or a graphic designer or a, a, a business management course because it's a it's a diploma course so that you can learn in six months and and, and you know with Google and YouTube and the internet you can self-study you can you can get all the knowledge that you want to get so it's no it's not necessary to drag out these courses and have the poor parents paying year after year a huge amount just to get to the third year so I would say that after a year the student should then go on into their second year and get a paid internship for a three-month period or even more the longer that you can keep that student as, as a paid internship the more chances are that the company or another company would would employ that person because number one is getting that person stu young student is getting experience at the company they could get a good reference letter from the owner um, and it means that they are practically applying what they've learned to the company so they're getting used to a company culture the all the theory parts that they're just re reading in books are now being applied to practically so they get to know the terms that, that, that they use in 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 uh in whatever industry they're working in so so again um on diplomas why that why my question is why is there such an emphasis on getting your diploma although it's important that's not where the emphasis should lie the emphasis should, emphasis should lie, be lie in getting a paid internship with a good letter of reference from the owner because what you want is you want a job you want and I, I don't like the word to say you want a job I'd like to really say 
you want to start your career so what you really want to do is you want to start your career and getting paid for what you do and a diploma is not going to do that for you it's not going to help you do that for you mostly what's going to help is when you are doing an internship you're getting a letter of reference because then you're applying what you've learned practically and you do, and you can do it after a year you, because the content that you're learning you don't need to take three years to learn the content you can learn that content within six months so to me it just does not make sense um, and in the meantime I'm thinking that the reason why the college just wants to drag it to a three year is because they are obviously making money and and why put the emphasis on diploma you know why put the emphasis on graduating yay graduating rather put the emphasis on the year after you're going to get a paid internship meaning you're going to start earning money because with a high unemployment rate uh, diplomas is no guarantee of of a job or a start of your career and it is also I believe a teamwork between the lecturer the, 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 the student himself or herself and the parents and then also the structure of the college must be such that there are good internships uh, no unnecessary uh, stretching of content and not giving good lectures because again I, I, that's that's going to be a different topic on the content and the quality of lectures lecturers but let me just end off by saying then that I believe that uh, diploma is simply a, a, a foot in the door of the company and um, it's just there to get an interview because otherwise you won't even be considered for an interview uh, and then so please um, send me an email drop me an email think uh, tell me what your thoughts are if you agree or dis disagree and also you can go to the links below um, just to see my different training computer training uh, offers um, and let's stay in contact thank you very much